How about some Halloween decorations for your home? It's not too late. Halloween's about a week away. Julie Lair with DIY Louisville is here to show us some fun decorations that are pretty easy to make too. Yes. A little ghost here. It'd be fun to put on the mantle, on the yes. table, or kitchen island, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. I love this idea. I think this turns out so cool. Kids love this. It kind of creates this really cool optical illusion that this ghost is floating. And it's really, really simple to make. And a fun little friendly looking ghost too. Yes, well, spooky. Of you can make it spooky <laughs> if you want. Um, so what you need for this is you need to create a form. So I've created this out of a two liter bottle, a styrofoam ball, and then I put these wire pieces in to kind of create this you know, floating effect here. And then you need uh, cheesecloth, mm -hmm. which you can buy at the grocery store, the craft store, and uh, liquid starch mm -hmm. that I put in a spray bottle spray so bottle. that we can okay. um, you know, apply it easily. And you can even use wire hanger here. Yes, you, anything that you have at home, and you can even create your own, your own ball with, um, you know, paper and wrap it with um, tape or something like that mm -hmm. if you don't have access to a styrofoam ball. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your cheesecloth, and you want to make this pretty long because you need to have a, a front kind of on the table and a back on the table, and that's what's going to hold up the ghost for gotcha. you. So when you drape it over, you want to make sure you leave enough excess to um, kind of have that. So then you just play with the cloth till you get the look that you like for your ghost. Okay, and then uh, once you have all of this kind of in place the way that you like it, make sure you have a towel down on mm -hmm. your table because the starch will leave kind of a little bit of a mess. Okay. And then you're going to use it. your spray bottle and uh, oh, a, sorry, I've got it locked there. And just kind of spray it down, get it really good and saturated front and back, especially these parts down here on the table, uh, so that you know that when it dries, it will It'll stand. stand. Yes. Okay. And then you'll need to let this dry. You can oh, either oh, oh, no, don't fall. You can <laughs> let it dry overnight, or you can use a hair dryer to um, huh? you know quicken it up. Yeah, quicken it up a little bit. And then when you have it finished. You can add some felt eyes or face or however you like. Let the kids make their own face. That's really fun for them to kind and of create that. Easy and to cut out too with the felt. Yeah. Something they can do, get, get involved with that. Exactly. Does, so this needs to dry overnight, you said? At least overnight, unless you use a hair dryer. If you use a okay. hair dryer, then, you know, a few minutes and you or. Just peel it off. Peel it off of okay. the form and then kind of, you know, it'll sit on your table, kind of something like this. You can keep playing with it till you get the shape that you like. And that's all that there is to it, really. That's an easy one. Yep. And you have step-by-step -step directions on your website. Yes. We've got a link to that on our website, wdrb.com. You can check out the instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these friendly-looking little ghosts. All right, thank you so much, Julie, thank Lear, you. for joining us with DIY, DIY Louisville. Thank you.